The first step is purchasing the belt. Be careful when ordering it online as it is easy to confuse the air conditioning belt for the serpentine belt. Also, the amp rating of your alternator decides the belt length. The amp rating of your alternator should be stamped on it. If you can't find the amp rating on the alternator, then you can look in the glove compartment to check the options that are installed on your vehicle. Time to replace the old belt. Start by removing the air channel from the air filter to the intake manifold. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen the hose clamp on the air filter side and the hose clamp by the manifold. Pop the channel off and set it aside. Using a 15 millimeter wrench, turn the belt tightener counterclockwise to loosen the belt enough to remove it. As you can see, this belt is quite worn and has extensive cracking. Here's a better look at the old belt. Here's the method I will use to install the new belt. I first wrap the crankshaft pulley, then go up and around the water pump pulley, then down and around the power steering pump and up and over the alternator pulley, and over the stationary pulley, and finally over the tensioner pulley. While using the wrench to turn the tensioner pulley, I slip the belt under the stationary pulley. Okay, now I just have to do what I described. Now that the belt is installed, we can put things back together. Slip the air channel back on the intake manifold and air filter. Tighten the two hose clamps. Finished. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on my channel, Fox Know How.